Chris. And I'm Wendy. And welcome to the Toasted, Toasted Marshmallow, Marshmallow Adventures, Adventures Podcast. Yes. Today in the studio, it's been a while since we had someone in the studio. Yes. Uh, from Jetlag Media, we've got DJ. Woo. Yeah, you know the vibes. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. We just so. call him Jetlag, right? Yeah. We didn't know for a while what your name was. Yeah, we just called you right. Jet Lag. Yeah, we're like this Jet Lag media. Jet Lag's over there. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take that. I mean, that's, that means the brand is being it's recognized. Working, so yes. I'll take it. Yeah. In fact, uh, when we were talking yesterday, I was like, one of the questions is, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because we, we just seen you stuff. around yeah. the lounge and. Yeah, since the. Uh, hey, it's that one guy. It is. Yeah. yeah. The, <laughs> the photographer. Yeah. Because I we first uh, met you at the Idaho Comedy yes. Festival, like there's where that I dude. also did a podcast episode. Oh, nice! Oh, did you with who? Uh, Jarrett Munson. Oh, Jared okay. Munson. I don't. Know. I know the name. Oh, was he the um, Asian guy? Yeah, he had oh, the, okay. the "Hey, yeah, what's yeah. up?" Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Podcast, okay. yeah. Good cool. for him. He's pretty dope. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. See, he's still doing his podcast. Yeah, or oh, I think nice. he actually might have changed. I think he started a new one. Oh, did he? I think something, something but. different. You know, there's like rebranding. And... Yes. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes. Yeah, Facebook we... is now meta, everyone. It's meta? Yeah, that's what I just read. What Did you see the uh, the emblem too? No. Like their new logo? Is it bad? It's like a, a M. Oh. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, they were going to change. Yeah. Okay, it's, is They're that meta, real? That's Because they want to be metaverse eventually. Metaverse. I commented yeah. on uh, Mark Zuckerberg's Did you? <laughs> Facebook post. <laughs> oh, I was like, it's set to M for many, but it should be set to W for Wombo. <laughs> <laughs> Shot SpongeBob. Oh, I, love, yes. I love SpongeBob. I grew up on that. I, I, know, I have kids, so I know the reference. <laughs> So, uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah appreciate you're welcome. It. It's been fun. So we've been been hanging out for like the past hour in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah, pre game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. That's what we were doing. Should have been so. recording in the kitchen. I know. I know. What? She's talked about that. We just we said have. need to have cameras yeah. everywhere. I was, <laughs> I was like, like, what if uh, we just put cameras in the whole house? Just mic the what house. If we just go for it. <laughs> Make it a reality yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Chris and Wendy. About that. This is what they do. I don't know. Hey, I've I seen worse things on Netflix. So exactly. Yeah. Anything's True. possible. I know. Netflix, I Hulu, way Amazon. Worse. Everything's on Amazon. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can really get on there. Yeah. So we saw him at the Idaho Comedy Fest. Were yeah. you uh, affiliated with the lounge at that point? Because that's how we became affiliated. Yeah, I um, uh, I guess a little bit of backstory. So mm-hmm. I do work for a dispensary. Work for Hotbox. Shout mm-hmm. out to Hotbox uh, Farms. Um, <laughs> hashtag Hotbox Army. Follow us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am the social media manager for them as well. Oh, are you nice? Yeah. nice. So, but I did, so I started out there as a butt tender back in like October 2019. Um, and then once, uh, like March, 2021 came around, I was kind of like, you know, I was trying to quit honestly. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't anything bad against, you know, getting away from hot box or anything. It was just like, I love photography yeah, and I want to just push my brand to the next level mm-hmm. and just, you know, having to work retail and, you know, different hours and it's customer service base. So mm-hmm. You know, it's you don't really get you, you can't really get your way. Yeah. You're, you're on someone yeah. else's yeah, time, you know, exactly. in your time. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I, I had a meeting with the owner and he actually was like, you know, I really respect what you're trying to do. I've seen your growth as you know, your photography oh, cool. business has picked up. And uh, he he acknowledged that and gave me his blessings. But he also said, well, can we just keep you as a social media manager and, oh, cool. you know, work out some kind of like pay? Like, yeah, I'd love to stick around and help you guys out still. So, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so having that uh, that open time and that open space, I was able to. I actually went to the lounge like that first weekend after I, you know, that, oh, just my, after for my fun? Last, after my two week notice was up. Mm-hmm. Well, I sent them a message on Instagram, and I was like, "Hey, local photographer, you know, I've seen mm-hmm. you guys' page. I, I'd love to come in and shoot some shows." And someone mm-hmm. got back to me, and then I went to the lounge and met with with Jen and. Yeah. And Did then, you shoot for free at first or? No, I, I told her about my, you know, I asked for, you know, a specific hourly rate yeah. to start with. Mm-hmm. But yeah. of course, with it being like a smaller venue and smaller shows, then we, 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 we negotiated, negotiated. Yeah. A, uh, mm-hmm. like, like a, you know, a show rule 
a show rate, you oh, know, cool. like per yeah. event rate yeah. at the time. So, mm-hmm. nice. so yeah. And then, uh, so before the Idaho Comedy Fest, yes, I was, I was working with them. Oh, okay. I was affiliated cool. with them. I think the first show I shot was Gabriel. Dang, I can't I remember that last Rutledge? Rutledge? I wish it was a <laughs> I wish it was a case. Yeah. 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 That'd be nice, yeah. Either that or he's doing something wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Had a little hiccup in his we should, career. Like hashtag that. Yeah. <laughs> Make a clip. <laughs> yeah. At the lounge, but, uh, Gabriel was it Gabriel Rutledge? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah kind of like that longer. Name around. Yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah it was him, and it was a it was another show that happened like later on that after that too. So, so that was my introduction. That was like you know March. It was a little bit before four twenty. I remember that. So <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to forget That's that how holiday. You, like, base That's how your you year. Judge your <laughs> That's where your calendar starts at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My calendar starts at when I start. First selling weed was Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Photographing Snoop Dogg yeah. and, yeah, 420. Did yeah. all that happen? Yeah, Snoop Dogg came to Hotbox. You ain't, you were oh, there? No, you ain't no, getting the e-bike? That. No, you I remember that. There. I remember Everybody what it happened, there. but I I was like, it's gonna be a shit show yeah. down there. Well, you were in a burnt go. river shirt, so that's probably why you went. <laughs> oh, dang. Ooh, burn. Yeah. Get it. I mean, where's my rewards at Hotbox? <laughs> Put your phone number in the iPad when you show up. Oh, there. I always forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got them. And plus, we're doing some specials for like Halloween weekend and stuff, too. So, okay. I don't nice. know if it's gonna drop on Halloween or before Halloween, but. Yeah, I meant to change my shirt before you came here. You, you got here early. It's actually in the dryer. <laughs> I right guess now. I got here around time because we <laughs> you know, said we're gonna start him. at seven, and we ain't start till like seven thirty. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, like seven twenty-seven. Yeah. We were like, we should probably start this. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So yeah, I started working with the lounge, and then the Idaho Comedy Fest came around, and I was going to go home. Cause I'm from Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My birthday is May 25th, um, and that still feels like home to you. Washington D.C. Yeah, yeah, just because you know that's my roots. You know, Are your folks there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, my, all cool. my family's still there. I got oh, a couple wow. cousins on the east, on the west coast now. A couple, I have a, a cousin of the Marines like, and stuff. Weird one that went to the yeah, west I was, coast. I was kind of well. My co- other cousin went to like Cali, and she was in San Francisco. Yeah, how'd you end up in Idaho? Uh, shout out to uh, Uncle Sam. Uncle he sent Sam. me there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really wanted to get out of DC when I was a kid. Oh, okay. So, so joined the Air the Force. Military. Okay, you're in the yeah, military. Joined, well, I also really liked airplanes first, and stuff. Like, Who the and... fuck is Uncle Sam? <laughs> 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 I do have Uncle Sam, actually, too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I joined the Air Force out of high school. That was actually one of my biggest things I wanted to do in life, mm-hmm. was to be around airplanes. Like oh, I, wow. I went to an air yeah. show when I was seven years old. Mm-hmm. My uncle took me, and we went to Andrews Air Force Base. I saw the Thunderbirds for the first time, and I was like, "Yo, airplanes are dope! Like, look, <laughs> oh, look it's, they're loud. They're doing these cool spins. Like, they're coming hit yeah. on and dodging each other." Do you know how to fly? Do I know how to fly? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> figure it out. I'm not getting in your plane. <laughs> I mean, have yeah, you flown probably. a plane before? Yes, I've, I I've flown lessons. a plane. And I was in the Civil Air Patrol, and they would give us like flight lessons on Cessnas oh, and stuff awesome. like that. So, okay, okay, I mean, good. I'm pretty sure I can work my way around a <laughs> yeah, cockpit. Probably, it's a little scary. Like a 747. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, I, really, yeah. the bigger the, you think the bigger you'd it land is, it. The um yeah i feel like that's good as long as not lands on, on an aircraft like, carrier yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's okay. terrifying i could probably yeah. land it i mean because they have probably. like nowadays if it's like a clear day too you know you'll be able to see it but nowadays airplanes the have they have a uh, like an ils an instrument landing system oh and mm-hmm. it's like a pretty much a computer that's like on the ground cool. up in the runway it has like a light system and it's communicating with the airplane and the pilots and even now with today's technology with autopilot the plane will actually get so low that it'll pretty much almost land itself oh wow without yeah. you really having to oh, put your hands cool. on it Thank on God. the controls Damn. but yeah so there's there's a lot of, you know safety measures in place i mean granted pilot error still can happen but yeah yeah they okay. they're trying trying to make the the friendly skies a lot safer yeah how long yeah. were you in the air force for three and a half years oh, tell okay. everyone four years because it's like well why did you only do three and a half <laughs> yeah yeah let's, let's why just why just stay in for six more months oh well, i didn't have the that, choice <laughs> oh you didn't 
some things are you know taken out you know out of your hands and, oh, and yeah. other people's control. And then based on the actions that you may have done. But, and then <laughs> it's time to leave. Okay. Okay. Now it's actually during that uh, in two thousand and thirteen. There was a sequestration that happened where there was like a restriction on the military budget and like even airplanes couldn't fly. Right. Like the Air National 2013? Guard. 2013? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I got it October 1st, 2013. And it was probably like 20, into 20. It was like somewhere in the summer, spring. I remember it was warm out. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice outside. <laughs> and I remember going out there like changing tires like and doing stuff. Like we went from so. year to like the temperature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in terms of him telling there, us how to why to yeah. believe that's him. how I, that's how i remember i remember weird things like about that's how like you know key moments about the year and the month Bless like you. the that's funny like the, the smells the taste yeah like i was eating ice cream that day for <laughs> sure well, it was weird though because like we're the u.s air force and we can't fly these jets yeah true <laughs> like we were showing up to work and just hanging out, we started making paper airplanes. We went in the <laughs> hangar, and you, we fit like three planes like in the in the hangar. So we'll go climb on top of one jet, go to the wingtip, and throw it to see if we can make it to the other end. Oh, the, and one of my friends actually did make it across oh, all, nice. all three jets. Oh, yeah, nice. that's a good airplane. Yeah. So I mean, we were but playing. This is what you guys were doing. <laughs> that's <is> terrifying. <laughs> I mean, were, you, were these some like? Badass paper airplanes are just your standard. Just like, the standard oh, ones. They yeah. just, you know, some people just get Not really good at baking more, paper yeah. airplanes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I said it helped that they were aircraft mechanics. So, <laughs> oh, my God. and then it got to a point where like mm-hmm. the pilots were just coming out to the jets and they were doing incentive taxi rides. <laughs> What? Like, like so that so the jet that I work on had two seats, of, you know, of pilot and a weapon system officer in the back. Yeah. But they can sometimes use that for incentive flights, where you just put like a random civilian oh, or shit. press or M- VIPs or just, outstanding airmen, other mechanics. Just to go, yeah, you oh, go go cool. for a ride in the jet. Oh, cool. but instead of that, imagine doing a taxi, <laughs> taxi the jet. Just so you just just hop down. in and just just. They just ride out to the end of the runway and they turn around and come back. Really? <laughs> yeah. And go for rides. They were doing that for their wives and oh shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's it was taxi. like some, and it was just to keep the fluids running in the jets oh and the, uh, you know, just things don't so things don't sit too still for long. I mean, yeah. It's kind of like Funny. a car, you know, if you have a car sitting yeah. too still and. God, his tail bad. is like whacking me. Yeah. <laughs> he's sharing the love. Oh, What's yeah. up, dude? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's on camera. Oh. Where'd that go? Oh, what was that? Oh. oh, that was just that. Oh, he is. Yeah, hey, there he is. Hey, there's Tucker. Hey, you some FaceTime. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, so that's how I definitely remember that because it's a that's weird hilarious. time. Like I'm just used to jet noises and airplanes flying, and yeah, no, nah, we taking okay. turns. Like, who wants to get off early this <laughs> week? All right, you guys go home early today. Uh, tomorrow, oh you other guys go home early. That's like, crazy. <laughs> So you got stationed at Mountain Home then. Beautiful, huh? scenic, lovely <laughs> yeah. Mount Home, Idaho, Seriously. where there's no mountains. No, <laughs> no. You got to drive like two hours, it's but yeah. I don't get it. It's like Hill Air Force Base. Yeah. There's a Hill yeah. Air Force Base in Utah, <laughs> and right, and it's in Salt Lake City, and right next to the runway is a huge mountain. <laughs> so it makes sense. You see where I'm going yeah. with this? Yeah. <laughs> but in Mountain Home, no. there's no. just huge hills. The Hill Air Force Base is a huge mountain. Yeah. They so, need to switch. I've been trying yeah. to sign a petition for this for a while, but everyone looks at me like I'm high when yeah. I. <laughs> but, what yeah, should their so. name be based on the landscape? Yeah. Well, technically, Mountain Home was so the Air Force Base was actually in the mountains, uh, like back in like World War II era, like around like the forties and fifties. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until I think, I believe, like the sixties and seventies. I mean, that, hey, don't quote me on this, guys. I know you're listening. This might be some military buffs, some <laughs> Idaho history buffs. No, don't at me. Okay, yeah. they don't listen to us. But back in the day, <laughs> <laughs> well, since I'm on here, they, they, they might, they yeah, might fuck yeah. with you. I'm gonna unlock like okay, a whole new yeah, demographic yeah. for you. Let's, I'm yeah, gonna put this on get... all my channels. Okay. Nice. Yes. But yeah, so back in the day, yeah, it was like up in the mountains, and then, you know, and it was in the mountains. But yeah, then they moved it to where it is Flat now. Lands. But they just kept mm. the name. I don't know why they rename it. Oh, That's stupid. Okay. Why is Flatlands? I don't, I don't know why Flat it's so lands. hard to like boring lands. <laughs> the badlands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
It's like the like sucky the, area to drive through on your way to Boise. I, mean, I got to Idaho. Of ice I got wind. here at nighttime in March 2011. Uh, mm. To Boise. Mm-hmm. I landed at Boise Airport coming in from Washington, D.C. Said goodbye Dang. to my mom again, oh, to my, my girlfriend at the time, all my family and friends. Like, because you go through boot camp and then you go yeah. through tech school and then you go home for a little bit and then you go to your duty station. And I didn't want Idaho. I, were, I wanted to go to London, honestly. Oh, God. They have a base in the UK. So Idaho was no pick for you. No. But <laughs> they're like, they looked at your picks and they're like, Idaho is I wanted for to him. go either like to, to, to London, to Europe. Oh I wanted God. to go to Japan. I'd rather go to North Carolina because we had a base over there. And that was like, yeah. little, like four hours away from home for I me. I so. see your military picture. Oh yeah, okay. I got you. Oh, Super <laughs> yeah. short. Veterans Clean Day is coming cut. up. Yeah, it would have to be short hair, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't have dreadlocks now as, yeah. as a guy. No, nope. no. Nope. You can as a girl. Um, now you can. Yeah. Oh wow. They, they actually wow. recently yeah. changed the the hair regulation cool. for for dreadlocks. Nice. So but stop that considering a... that as a facetious hairstyle. But not for yeah. men. No, men it's can't still have dreadlocks. Facetious for men. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they want to have a high and tight, and, oh, you know, or a low yeah. buzz, or you know, yeah. you can have like waves and stuff like that if you you hear it allows for it. But yeah, wow, no, nah, so no dreads, no fun. But other countries can weird. Yeah. Like in in Australia, they can. I've seen them in like Singapore. Or they wow. they'll have dreadlocks, but they have long hair and they actually wear like hair wraps and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so many other countries actually allow, you know, the I customs of having hair. don't see how hair is like hair. a decision-making process ever. Well, one, like, of the, yeah. well, one of the safety concerns the, the U.S. military had, though, was like the gas mask regu- requirements. Because uh-huh. no, when they when you have to wear it, yeah, you, have to, uh, you want a complete seal, and that's why you also want to be shaved and stuff yeah. all the time. So if you have to, like, put it on. But okay. it still creates a seal, and you, <laughs> you're still safe even with this. Yeah, I would like, think so. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean... Police officers, bounty yeah. hunters, all these other different you know, Dog, civilian the bounty agencies. bounty hunter is fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Yeah. No, oh, no, fine. no, not like that. No, 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 no not like that. <laughs> no, I mean. I, I know this is a dark subject. No. I'm not trying to go off topic too far. <laughs> okay, but I, that picture of Dog knocking at Brian Laundrie's Oh, I didn't door. see it. Oh, I didn't see God. it. That was my, I meant that in my profile picture on Facebook. <laughs> oh, is it? Because <laughs> he's just standing there. He's just, not, he's just <laughs> Knocking and, 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 and then the yeah, press is care. there and shit, and they get like all the camera guys taking yeah, pictures. Yeah. Oh and he's God. like, no one, no one answered. <laughs> <laughs> like he's hot on the trail. Hot damn. Yeah. And Nobody this season, a dog, the bounty hunter. Exactly. <laughs> His wife died. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cancer. Yeah. Is it cancer? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Was what was her name? Biv or something? Yeah. Biv. No, yeah. Beth. Biv. Beth. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I used to I used to watch that I shit. Did too. I used to be high as fuck watching that shit. <laughs> <laughs> <No, I can't. laughs> Roll up a dude, man, just be flipping through the channels. Yeah. The dogs, the bounty hunters on like, fucking okay. USA. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eleven o'clock in the afternoon. I have to work till two. You know, now it's the one. Watch dog. What I loved about that was how he would like. Um, like make amends with the person kind of as he brought them in like yeah, and you know you hey, need brother, to change you your life brother <laughs> yeah, yeah he'd give him a cigarette yeah Beth would kind of soften yeah. up and they'd be like get your life together man and then it would end they all pray for they him they would like yeah. do the sign yeah, yeah. and I'd be like alright Everything's ending good. Yeah. I wanted to see no. him get Brian Laundry a cigarette. Yeah, I was looking forward to that. Yeah, <laughs> that was gonna be my next profile so picture. So there's conspiracy stuff out about that though. Uh, People are saying that that wasn't his skull. I mean, or they're something. saying all kinds of shit. They're these like, days I mean, they too. say Elvis is still That's alive true. in Vegas, and yeah. Biggie and Tupac are at the El Cora Shrine you know, this weekend. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. they say a lot. So of crazy this shit. guy killed her, then within a month killed himself. I mean, it's they're believable in their 20s. though. Yeah, it's believable it's that he killed himself, or you know, he just found he some skull, over. and you know, or he killed someone else and exactly. planted there, put a little bit of his DNA on He's the shit. Like, and hey, I, I want, I watched a lot of Netflix documentaries, and that would, yeah, that it would probably happen. be the the way to get away if you kill someone else and decapitate them and <laughs> leave their shit there, but then take I'm your samples of your all. DNA, like your blood. Mm-hmm. 
and put that all over the bones and shit. And yeah, so that way every yeah. time they test the it's DNA, it, is it getting a it. little too graphic? Oh my bad. No, no it's don't get no ideas. <laughs> talk about anything I'm well i guess i just here. figure out how to get away with murder exactly. <laughs> yeah, go to hey idaho has route. a lot of real estate yes yeah. don't be surprised if blind hey someone even said brian laundry was at <laughs> at the st clair in napa <laughs> I, th- that <laughs> totally Gary. wouldn't surprise me <laughs> yeah it could be i mean it could be the mall shooter seriously yeah, no yeah. man that shit yo uh, that that was right crazy. by your house, right down the street from where I live. Too and are you, do you live on? on well, we don't I live say on, the street you live no, on. I live on. We're gonna, we're gonna oh, okay. pull up. Everybody, everybody that knows me, that follows me, is gonna see us already know where I live. Anyway. Oh, okay. everybody's everybody that know me for real. If you were in my friend, right, you've been you live to my on crib. Alamba. You know where I live on Alamba. You've okay. been to my house, and the we have right had, across the street from where I used to work. Yeah, the, the crazy like, house. Yeah, okay, yeah. Seen some crazy motherfuckers running running out with their nightgowns on. Yeah, they run to those apartments. Sometimes if they get yeah, out, and yeah, then the cops come, you know, yeah. come and swarm yeah. through and shit. It's happening. Yeah, hey, have you times. seen this person? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes naked. I mean, I, I probably did see him, but I no. Yeah, so I'm not getting involved. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, we had an arsonist in our apartment complex. Oh, I think this I motherfucker blew up the yeah. whole back patio oh, in his own apartment. He, he might have ended up in my hospital. <laughs> probably, he yeah, deserves to be somewhere. there, yeah. and yeah. then he deserves to get the. I mean, well, no one died, so I guess he doesn't deserve to get the chair, but he deserves to still. Yeah, he needs a hug from a mother and some some straightening. And some, yeah, you know, slap across the face because yeah, he. I, I had just left when this had happened. I guess I had just yeah. left, or it just happened right before I came back. Cause yeah. I'm coming down, I'm coming down Island Bar. I turn in my apartment <laughs> complex, and there's fire truck, fire truck, yeah. bomb squad. You're like, Should I go in? <laughs> FBI, uh, ATF. Oh, but you have dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my, oh my I have my dogs in my house, and I'm like, oh what the fuck happened? And there's like huge yeah. smoke and shit, and like, and you know, and you can walk around and see where the, uh, you know, you see the the whole back patio was. <laughs> gone <laughs> and it yeah. burned into the guy to the people's kitchen oh god yeah. so there was just a huge wall like where the wall is between like the patio and the living room and the kitchen it was just gone <laughs> mm-hmm. um the apartments under it that shit was smoked out all four apartments there had to be vacated and all oh, all the residents had to be god. displaced and, yeah they so what did they set off um i don't know exactly what he did wow. at first someone said it was a cigarette <laughs> that doesn't when mean. I first got there, and one of my neighbors was like, "Yeah, they said someone's out there smoking a cigarette, and they yeah. didn't put the cigarette out." And yeah, like, no, a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. I don't think shit blows up. Yeah, that seems like some yeah, works. I don't know if it's the same person I had, but I had someone who fired up their apartment. I don't know, probably to get the demons out or something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, kind of cleans the space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, Dang. And they were facing a lot of charges after that. Wow. So. Shit. Well, this dude was uh, apparently had a restraining order against one of the residents that lived there, and he was a, a res. He, his apartment was just across the way from mine, like directly across. Like oh, if God. I look out my bedroom window, all the way across the apartment, that that's his over there to the right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I've seen him before. He was doing some weird shit. Oh, like God. he has a carport. Yeah. Everyone has a carport, and it's like. 20 feet away from his, his the steps he would just park his car in front of his apartment building <laughs> and his, even though his carport's just right there and then he would like get in his car and drive like just around and shit and oh, around man. the complex and then park it yeah, i don't know he was just doing some <laughs> off shit Jeez. and then yeah come find like he had like a restraining order against one of the girls oh, that lived there God. and yeah, and then he was in a stand. He barricaded himself, and you can you could mm. see the bullet holes in his window oh from where God. the cops had to shoot tear gas in and smoke his ass out of that motherfucker. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, he had a whole standoff with them oh, and everything, man. and shit. Oh, yeah. And this was like yeah, like a year, like two years ago. But and you lived there. You just left. I live there now. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I had yeah, just he... left. Well, I had just left before the, the whole bombing, oh. the, the explosion oh. thing happened. Just like left. Pretty much bombing, like, yeah. Like, you're so lucky. Yeah, and it could have been my apartment. Exactly. Like, you know, my dog yeah. could have been hurt. My, oh, my neighbor's God. dogs could have been hurt. It could have been anyone's apartment. It could have, yeah, it could have been God. way worse. But luckily, no one got hurt from That's that. insane. And... And you still feel safe living yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Growing up in Washington, D.C. Yeah, true. Can, yeah, compared right, to right, everything right. That's that one of the highest the crime Coast. areas, right? Yeah. That's what they DC, say. It's so weird. Like, 
I mean, yeah, it's for... it's it's you know certain areas you don't want to stumble into because you know the higher chance of things happening. There's yeah. still some like safe areas around DC as well, but in general, though, I mean, you could almost look on the look on the news and you're guaranteed to hear about some either if the homicide or oh, some kind of like other so like could, violent act. Could Chris and I like land sh- and go to? comedy clubs and walk around of at course. night and feel safe of we course. could okay you're cool. white DC. well oh okay so <laughs> that's okay yeah you're okay. safe yeah. cool would we be safe if we were black mm, i don't know really and it's weird how, it's honestly really? weird how that works you know like yeah. you would think like that you'd have more hatred or more anger towards an outsider than mm-hmm. someone that's, that's what I from think. your yeah i don't know it's, but are we talking like tourist locations or like the actual city um because i mean he and i would probably walk through the city we'd start at the tourist location if it was cheaper and then we would go to the cool <laughs> spot yeah. in the city yeah i mean honestly the spots around like the more i guess sketchy areas i mean it's yeah yeah there's not really you know anything really going on around except like bomb ass food you know some good oh, carry out see, that's where <laughs> yeah. we're gonna be but there's even yeah, some spots yeah, where like you know, my mom she works for the police department so oh, nice. she you know she even says like you know if you you know when i come home I'm like well just make sure you don't go around you know over here oh, you know nice. stay away from over you here get the and stuff. Inside and, scoop. yeah my, my yeah, uncles cool, i have yeah. uncles that were police officers Whoa. and i have you know a What's few friends from high do? school uh, she, what does she do? She like, uh, she processes like, like, uh, property and stuff and huh. mm-hmm. inventory. Like, so like when the Capitol riots ha- happened, oh. she was just telling me all crazy Ca- fun stories about the different the inventory. Yeah. Like the oh, different God. things that people had on them and how dirty so oh, most of them God. were and how smelly all the, some so of their belongings cool. were. And yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah. But I mean, but DC overall, like is, it's actually, I mean, you know the the news and media kind of makes it a little, they little do. bit they portray blow it, it up. to kind of make it a little bit more scary. Okay, and there was there do be trends that do get a little unsettling where you hear about you know like people you grew up with passed away and yeah, or you hear about like you know there's because there, there were some shootings where um it was like a, it was like a like in a neighborhood there's some kids playing outside mm. and some guys just rode up and there was like there's probably maybe a estimate i think it was like maybe like i don't know i guess i'll just say like 20 people around outside just hanging out chilling these guys roll up and just start shooting oh, and they actually killed like like a five-year-old or oh, something God. or a four like a six-year-old like they killed like the youngest <clears throat> person one of wow. the youngest people out there and stuff mm-hmm. you know and then you know the philosophy though the idea of actually being white and walking around dc in certain areas they're yeah they're probably not even gonna think twice about even trying it because they just think oh well, shit it's all mac it's <laughs> all oh. mac trouble oh okay. but they're also i would think the exact opposite like it's on <laughs> i mean I and, and you might get i mean and you could probably get harassed too maybe in oh, a sense okay. but like you know i mean it i mean i guess it, at this point honestly it can happen to anyone okay you know, there's honestly bullets don't really have a name on them but you yeah, don't really exactly. hear too much about to me and i'm only making i haven't i've, I've i left home in like 2010 20 yeah, yeah 2010 so so, a while ago. so i mean just me speaking is just from what i see yeah. and from my thoughts and ideas about things but i always try but to you like never hear about it you never hear about okay like you never hear about like you know white homicide victims that's like true. that in, yeah, in the dc area true. like that's that mm-hmm. so that's what that's what you know just gave me the thought of you know well, if you're white walking through you'll probably be all right but, <laughs> <laughs> but honestly though as long as you're a cool person for real like dc is real diversified yeah it's, we it's would a love mixing that pot. It, i want to go it's known as chocolate one. city for real but yeah really? the, the last in terms of real chocolate <laughs> well, Hershey Park is up in Pennsylvania. Oh. It's not too far, but no. I mean, I am real. We are real chocolate. I'm okay, I'm 98 percent right. chocolate over here. Okay. Of sea 98 salt. to a little bit too Tabasco. not sugary for me in terms of actual chocolate. 65 percent oh. is my <laughs> limit. So she wants the cocoa. Yeah. I'm more of a cocoa yeah. in terms of eating chocolate. Yeah. No, nah, but I still love yeah. DC though. Honestly, yeah. I mean it's it's my hometown. It's where I grew up. It's my roots are. I would love to go there. I mean, growing up in the in so the city why environment. Why did you it's... leave? I joined the Air Force. Okay. So and like, then you ended up in Mountain Home. Yeah. So so what brought you to Vegas? 
Uh, well, I'm going to Vegas. Oh, so you haven't been there before? You no, I've been oh. there. Sorry, I've been there before. But not lived there. Well, I've been there before because of Vegas, sir. Right. <laughs> but haven't <laughs> yeah. this Gambling, is a living situation. Brothels, uh, weed, <laughs> like, <laughs> alcohol. How, how can you go wrong? <laughs> yeah, so that's what brought me to Vegas the first time. I was oh, like, well, it's okay. Vegas. I'm 21. You know? Yeah. I forget. Actually, I was like probably like 25 when I first went to Vegas. 24, mm-hmm. 25. Mm-hmm. Went with my brother and his cousin. Well. So never lived there, but you are officially I, moving. Yeah, I mean, by the time Ooh. you, by the time this comes out, really? Uh, I mean, when's this coming out? Like November? Well, it's November something. Yeah, it's gonna come out before our party, which is November twelfth. Oh. When are you moving? So, hey, well, I, if any other people are listening to this that know me, uh, yeah, I guess you, the secret's out. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm moving. Uh, oh, people don't know. Some no, people don't know. some people don't know. But oh, okay, gotcha. it's Yay. all good. All right. I mean, it's all good because I was gonna tell them anyway. But <laughs> I mean, they, they'll, they'll they'll get the hint when they come over my house for a smoke and... session. They see all the U-Haul boxes <laughs> packed up. And yeah. Like, oh, DJ, where are you going? Dang. Like, but but no. Nah, so yeah, I haven't lived in Vegas before. Um, good I lived, opportunity. So, yeah. So I have. So I have a lot of clients that I work for. In LA, okay, mm-hmm. I do. And they go to Vegas, so I a do lot. comedic photography a lot. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so I do mm-hmm. different types of photography. Um, the one that kind of pays the bills the most is comedy shows and right. like, uh, you know, concerts and music festivals and stuff like that, like live action performances. Yeah. Um, it's January 2019. I started working with some comedians out of LA. Um, they had a live show in Dallas, Texas. I hit them up because at that point I was like I was. I wasn't trying to be desperate, but it's like, like but I'm it's available. Like, you know, I'm you good. Know, I want to, I want to take this to the yeah. next level. I want to travel. I want to see some things. I want to, yeah. you know, fall back in love with kind of life a little bit yeah. and make some dreams come true. Like I love traveling. Well, how about I get paid for it? Yeah. How about mm-hmm. you know when I have my camera with me, I can work for someone mm-hmm. and you know take in the sights at the same nice. time. Yeah. So you know, and I realized like Instagram is kind of the plug. You know, you can you can send a message to Beyonce and Jay Z. They're not going to read it. I know, crazy. But yeah. it's going to be weird. in their pocket, like yeah. in the, on their phone, like so in, weird. instantly too. Yeah, like within a matter of seconds. So, yeah. So I mean, I just kind of use that philosophy to reach out to different comedians that I was following on YouTube and Instagram. Like I love their work. I I, I love their jokes. <clears throat> they're and they also do like you know little motivational mm-hmm. speeches and podcasts and stuff too as yeah. well. Like you know, you hear their backstory, how they grew up and stuff. So. So I just started sending out messages on Instagram, and these were kind of the only guys that re, uh, t- reply to me, oh, and cool. you know say, "Hey, well, we're doing a live show in Dallas, and these are the dates." And, and so you would just show up, yeah, and I, on I your mean, own been, dime, mm-hmm, yeah. Wow, because I mean, it's at that. I mean, what I do for people is like, especially for new clients. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like an investment, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm willing to you know invest you know my time in exchange for. You know, to show you what I'm capable of wow. to probably get future work with you. That's mm-hmm. cool. You know, and you kind of, you know. So you actually <laughs> spent that kind of money to get a flight prior to getting paid. I mean, yeah. think about this, Chris. Yeah, no, I know what I you're mean, saying right now. To yeah, Dallas, it's, it's that hard, was at it's least 300 bucks, I mean, probably think, four. Yeah. That was cheaper than that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit cheaper than that, but at that time, but you know, still, I had, I had like a few dollars saved up. still, like you're starting at a negative. They haven't paid you yet. So yeah. you're taking like a... That's really cool. So, I mean, I, I, I paid for my flight. I got my rental car. I got an Airbnb wow. downtown Dallas. Showed up. Like, you're like, I'm here for the job. <laughs> I got a new camera, actually, a couple wow. months before. So, um, maybe a like thousand a, a month bucks before. you spent. Oh, I was, More? I mean, it was a, probably about, I mean, it was probably less than that, honestly, because I got the camera. One of my friends, he's a professional around Boise, so uh, shout out to, to Paul, PJ. <laughs> you know, that's my but guy. That's, he put me on. I mean, you spent but, some money, though. But yeah, I was making, I was paying him, like, you know, 50 bucks at a time for the camera. I mean, the camera's probably mm-hmm. like, he's probably quoted me like 400, 450, but he understood my situation yeah. and knew that I kind of needed some new gear exactly. to get out there. And I had a decent camera at the time too. I was making it work. No one could tell what kind of camera I had. Right. Prior to the Sony system that I'm shooting with now. But yeah, my man Paul looked out for me and I told him, like, you know, hey man, I got this opportunity to go to Texas. These guys replied, I'm going to go out there. And yeah, oh, he. Wow. 
That's so, so yeah, and cool. I didn't I didn't get paid for that that job, but oh, I got didn't. paid an experience though. Right. Like the experience wow. of meeting these guys that are you so know. So when you <laughs> went, did you know you weren't getting paid, or it was like I still... never I, I I mean I didn't go there with a handout. You yeah. Know? I mean, because I knew I had the thought that maybe they could kick me down a yeah. few bucks, but I wasn't expecting exactly. it at all. Like yeah. I was expecting just to. So you'll write network. this down as a credit as well, right? Yeah. 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 This was like, this was January 2019. Yeah. Like I started off 2019. Wow. Just, I hit the hit the ground running. It was the first weekend That's of cool. 2019. Jeez. <laughs> like like the first Jeez. was like the Wednesday that 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 Thursday Friday I was. <laughs> and it was their first mm. live show because these three comedians came together and started making a podcast. Mm. The podcast oh, okay. was called Did You Miss Me? And they uh-huh. were first doing it and they, uh, it was two of them. It was D-Lay and Billy Sorrells. Shout out to both of them. Because um, I, re- I love those guys. Like yeah. I wouldn't be here without them oh, right nice. now. They have really unlocked so many opportunities for me. Um, but they were doing the <clears> podcast <throat> together. They were just pretty much telling stories. Like storytelling mm-hmm. and you know, cracking jokes in between and doing improv and stuff. Oh, cool. And then they had like a live show come up because they had built up a, a big audience of following on YouTube and they got a live show popping. They introduced a third comedian, a third host, oh, Kevin wow. Simpson. Damn fool. Shout out to my man, damn fool. Ooh. I worked with him a lot on the week. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I worked with him a whole lot this past summer too. Oh, cool. He's also unlocked a whole lot of great opportunities. Um, but yes, yeah, so I started working with them and, and my, my, my payout was just meeting them, actually getting to know them outside of a business standpoint or from a comedy standpoint, yeah. like seeing them off the stage, you know, outside of the green room, mm-hmm. actually chilling in the Airbnb. Like, what are they about outside oh, of work? Yeah. You know, what are it's they like huge. at home? Because, you know, because yeah. when you see it's your favorite so comedians, different. your favorite actors, like, yeah. they kind of have on like a, like their... A facade. Yeah, a facade. They have their costume on. Yeah. So they have a mask on. But yeah. then outside of that, they're kind of a different person mm-hmm. like sounds like their their goofy tendencies and their their relaxedness of it but like they're 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 really just people like you and me honestly yeah. mm-hmm. That's and so they just weird. held a higher pedestal but but Super, they're really cool though yeah. and they're influential and you know they have like you like know all normal. this life experience and stuff yeah. and yeah. just like all of it like all like all three of us we've all done different Shit. things like along yeah. our career exactly yeah. they've done different things along their path where they just you're make like, it sound funnier <laughs> but or it's, cooler it's the, yeah. they make like, it sound oh cooler it sounds yeah. funnier it's yeah. they've they done like some fucked up things yeah, exactly. but then they just make you know they, they speak on it and you learn from yeah what they've talked like they're their experience people. of it mm-hmm. that is weird when they're normal people yeah, like, celebrities. they are. So yeah. that so that was my payout. Yeah. Like it's one of forty eight laws of power too. You know, you you disguise the free lunch. You know, like what? you can go to like I don't know about the forty eight laws of power. I don't either. Oh, well, one of them is disguise the I free would like lunch. To know like imagine, all of them. like imagine you go to Starbucks, right, mm-hmm. and you see, um, you know, like someone like a, like a, a, someone that has a podcast that you know, a big following, like they're really famous. Whatever you see them at Starbucks, hey, I. So, oh, oh, so and so. Hey, man, I don't want to bother you, but I really like what you do. Hey, can I buy your coffee? And, you know, we sit down and talk to you because I'm making a podcast and you know, I'd love to hear about, you know, where you went wrong at or what would you done different? You know, mm-hmm. just that, you know, 10, 15 minute interaction, all that advice you got for paying, you know, five dollars for a cup of coffee for this guy and you're ordered together. Like, you know, you, you pay for his lunch and. You know, he what just gave you all this free game. I, for, I forgot which number it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh, 48 shit. of them. But that's... I know, but like if we start at zero right there, <laughs> I feel like if we buy them coffee, we compliment them for 15 minutes, we should be at least at 30. Well, you don't even have to compliment them. <laughs> no, you don't. No, don't even don't compliment them. Oh, just, just say, hey, I just, I just need advice. <laughs> what level... I haven't heard of these what level 48. Of power? No, well, yeah. I haven't heard so of this. So the 48 song. laws of power, there's 48 separate laws. I have okay. not heard yeah. this. So it's not like on the level scale. Oh, so okay. It's like, it's different what do laws I do to get to this level? There's different laws level. to be applied. Like, okay. like the first law of power is Don't never outshine. Dick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you're close. It's actually a never outshine the master. Oh, dang. Mm. Yeah. Tell him about <laughs> trying to get a Don't Be a Dick sign for here. I don't think this is. Oh God! <laughs> I think we should. Okay, I think we should. I've seen that as a bumper sticker. <laughs> yeah, we somewhere. can't get it. We we tried to get a because since we have clients coming into the studio now, we're, we're like, making don't be a, dick. a sign with this company online, and the they first won't do it. Studio rule was don't be a dick, and they won't print it. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> then said, we no, were. We I think we're gonna mess with them. We're gonna be like, don't be a schlong. Yeah, don't we're gonna change. <laughs> Like, yeah, just all these euphemisms. Ween, for don't dick. be a wiener. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
about 48 laws of power. <laughs> Well, right. forty eight laws of power. Yeah, and you can you can Google them, and okay. you can and, it, and there's a lot of like summaries where we'll talk about how like the title of each power, and then I have like a breakdown of like the applied science of it, and then I have like a breakdown of you know the the principle of it as well. So mm, okay, yeah, I've never I'll heard of it. it. And no, even, I never have. Yeah, if, if you YouTube it, there's a uh, there's a guy that does so illustrations the about it. Overlying. What's the headline? It's forty eight hours or forty eight laws of power. That's the headline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the forty eight laws of power. Huh. And what's the like goal wow. with the thing? Um, I thing? mean, it just gives you a, a straight up like it's like a free game. I mean, it's giving you a comprehension of not really necessarily like power moves to get ahead and get over on people, but it's giving examples of you know different. Manip not necessarily manipulations, but yeah, manipulation of Is power. Is it similar and to control. the secret in some way? Like put out what you want to get back. Or? Um, I think they kind of they, well, they don't really talk about manifestation in a oh. sense. They just more it's more like a physical like like the, another mm -hmm. one is um, like be careful with offending. I forgot I forgot the exact title of this law, but it's like be careful with like offending people and stuff because then they give an example of a uh, well, what if Hitler would have went on to become an artist mm -hmm. versus people kind of trashing yeah, his work yeah, and then yeah. how his like how history could have made been so differently yeah. you never know who you're offending even though we're like on borderline political correctness and everyone's no. a little sensitive nowadays a but at the same sensitive. time though yeah just be careful with like just walking in a room and like just being be, rude to people don't so be that's a douche. don't be a dick yeah yeah that ties okay, back into gotcha. it yeah there's a comedian i follow named carlos miller he he has this uh hashtag called hashtag quit touching shit <laughs> I, like and I post that. that on almost everything I post on Facebook now just because that's Quit like the realest shit, shit. For because it, it's just touching like the, the back of the battery remote like you wouldn't lose the batteries <laughs> of it if you wasn't touching the back of it quit touching <laughs> shit yeah why is that such a thing because when we were kids you were like ah don't touch that no. ah, <laughs> where's the back alone? of the ah. see <laughs> yeah. prime example don't folks if you, if you stop you touching know. shit you wouldn't lose <laughs> I don't know if I was touching it, but I... You were probably I, touching I, it. I, I had seen it on this table What's at some point. What's super weird is there's only four years. I was like, what the years? fuck is this to? And I think I threw it away at some point. Yeah, and, <laughs> and there's four years difference like, between the, the two is. of us, and we're in two separate generations. Oh, where I'm like, yeah, you don't yeah. touch it, you don't fuck with shit, you just, that's how it works. And All you're right. like, yeah, you totally play with it. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, fix it, let's weird. make it better. I'm like, nope, it, <laughs> that's like, how it is. Don't fuck with it. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I sometimes thought, you gotta touch some shit though, just to, sometimes because yeah. you're curious, you know. You gotta see what, how it works. I used to take my PlayStation part all the time when I was a kid. I want to hear mm -hmm. about what you think about this generation. Which one? So I don't, I don't even know what generation I'm in. Yeah, I don't really know either. how old I am. No, we so. can't tell. <laughs> but his daughter is 19. Her husband is 21, and they like almost don't know how to use Google, and they grew up with it. So yeah, I they from, from shit. where are they from? Idaho. Well, where um, are they from? I mean, my daughter was born in California, but grew up in Idaho. And Asher was born in Washington, but it's and they grew up. So, grew do you know here? anybody that age? They that don't. That's not tech savvy. I mean, yeah. if anything, they'd probably be the next thing to the I know. That's at what this you point. would that's, think. But get on Google, learn some shit. <laughs> you can learn everything on YouTube and Google, I know. honestly. Yeah. That's how I learned like, how to do all this. <laughs> it's amazing. Like <laughs> you can, like that's how I learned. Um, you know, Photoshop and stuff was yeah. through nice. Google and tutorials. Like when mm -hmm. I was deployed, I would uh, when we had like some downtime, we had computers in the, the little. I don't know what would you call it. it was like tents. Oh, <laughs> I'm now I guess tents. Yeah, <laughs> tents. we had like a little tent city set up along the flight line and stuff, and. Um, so I guess in our support team we had computers and Wi-Fi and internet oh, and stuff wow. and, and printers. So like I would you know look up a tutorial on Photoshop like uh, surrealism, oh, that's and cool. I would print it out and I'd have my laptop. Some and days you're in the and... middle of like weirdo nowhere. Like yeah. we aren't there for sure. Well, well I was like, in the Middle East. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. too bad. Oh, I was actually in Southwest huh? Asia. But technically still oh, like that'd damn. be like crazy to be for us to be printing out that shit in a little tent like <laughs> yeah. it was a big real, tent actually well a big tent we had, even yeah, a we tent, had cable, any tent. You know, we had, people would bring their xboxes some days like some days oh. we didn't fly for real so 
Mm, okay. So it was like weird. a deployment, but it was like a TDY, but a deployment because they were doing a couple sorties across the pond to, a, to a do a little sorties bit of straightening. Across the pond. Okay, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. It was doing TDY. Some, doing, doing a couple missions and TDYs. It, so TDY is just like whenever like Mountain Home Air Force Base. So I was in the 390 First Fire Squadron, right? Okay. So when that squadron, let's say they go to Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's called a temporary deployment. TDY. Mm -hmm. TDY. Okay, nice. Yeah, so once stateside, when you're leaving your base, but you're taking your jets and you're going somewhere else, that's, you know, temporary deployment because okay. you're just doing like training exercises and Sounded simulations. Super and... scary, am I right? A TDY? <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's an abbreviation and acronym for everything in the military. Okay. okay. But yeah, so we go... Um, so it felt like it just felt like that because we had a swimming pool. Dang. We had two bars um, on the on the on the installation I was at mm. at the airbase I was at. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had two drink limit. Uh, if we did good or free holiday, drinks, two drink limit. So two maximum. Free? No, we have to pay. Uh, oh, okay. No, it's a oh, bar. Can, okay, oh, okay, okay, I get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you think the taxpayer's like, money is oh going? Oh my god, that's no. amazing. <laughs> No, nah, it's going right Two back into their pocket. <laughs> you guys supply, you guys fund the liquor exactly. for the troops, and then we pay it back into the, yeah. the taxes. I think that's to, and it goes fair. Back, it goes it's full exactly circle. Exactly fair. Yeah. Yeah. And in return, you guys give us morale. So, exactly. Hey. <laughs> but we had USO shows and stuff. Like we oh, had a cool. DJ Jazzy Jeff from yes. Freshman yes. to Bel Air. He cool. came over there. Um, I met. Uh, it was like the the. The Air Force, uh, they have like this band. It's like Air Force Tops and Blues or something. Yeah. They're like they like they're like the Rat Pack. Oh, they're cool. just like a variety show. Yeah, and it was like really entertaining and stuff. Like they yeah. they were there. Um, so did you take photos? Yeah, no? I actually did oh, some okay, freelance cool. work with the uh, public affairs units there. Public okay. affairs handles all the media for mm. for the for the military. Oh nice. So I did I did some freelance with them on my. Cause you only get I only got one day off. A week. Yeah, a week, and that was like a Sunday. But everyone's working, you know, 20, yeah. I'll, I'll post pretty much man 24 hours in a deployment location. So on my day off, I would go to the public affairs unit, talk to their photographers, play around with their lenses. And they would actually let oh, me take cool. some of the cameras and go around the base. And uh, they actually Practice. published one of my pictures on the on the cover page for the newsletter. Oh, nice. Was, they did like a basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they you know picked one of my shots for it. So it was Nice. Like Huge. and it said like in the corner like photo credit airman first class Darren Davis whoa, and I'm like hey whoa, it's whoa. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was and that was kind of like you know reassurance because even yeah. in high school I did photography and stuff like that oh you and, did okay yeah so you always felt it yeah except and it's like why didn't I do this like out of high school like why I go aircraft yeah. maintenance yeah. but yeah. I, you yeah. know I want some different though yeah. and it was like I you just I didn't see my do. full potential at yeah. the time like other yeah. people did so many people did I had an instructor she wanted me just to go to school for it and stuff and, mm. she, and I think how could life be different if I would have stayed home and went photography route instead of doing military yeah. route but it, i wouldn't met you guys i wouldn't be here right now yeah. i mean Boise yeah. might be on fire you know a tornado could have swooped yeah. through albuquerque it is weird you know? like when you're like why did i take those paths and if, if yeah, you really. and if you try to go back in time and change it the butterfly <laughs> effect knows? will take place yeah. and it yeah. would just like a chain reaction of everything would be Crazy all messed shit. up yeah but yeah, and yeah, I know we kind of strayed away from the whole like uh, Dallas okay. tech, the Dallas story, <laughs> but okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it is but weird. But it's, it's yeah. a part of the whole story. I mean, it's it adventures, is. right? I mean, yeah. my whole, yeah. like, growing up in the big city of D.C., mm. you travel yeah. a little bit with the Air Force, and they I drop you off in Idaho. 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 Fucking yeah. Idaho. Like, when I first. even, like, how many, like, coincidences or moves had to take place for, like, us to meet? Yeah, it's a really and weird then thing. us yeah. to meet you at the fucking pun slam. <laughs> no, at the Idaho Comedy well, Festival. Well, but then like ran into. Him oh last yeah, week yeah, at the and pun then we slam. just set we're this like, up. Oh shit! Yeah. Didn't know you were here. Okay, oh, yeah, of yeah. course. If there's if the pun slam is there, I'm probably there. If I'm not oh. booked for something do you, else, do you if I'm love out of town. it? It's pun so slam? fun. I love the pun slam. I honestly love Tiffany. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. Daniel, I know it's your wife. <laughs> not hitting on your girl. <laughs> she is a sweetheart, though. <laughs> no, Tiff, like, we actually, because, uh, you know, I'm moving yeah. soon-ish. Soon and, yeah. like, we were texting uh, through Instagram and shit. And 
I was just like kind of in my feelings like I appreciate you guys so much oh, and nice. you know she's like yeah it sucks you moving but I'm like but you guys are so awesome and you're so amazing and she was like yeah well just know we love you and I was oh. like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I sent her a gif of uh, the dude from the office like I'm gonna go cry now <laughs> <laughs> and Punch actually slam I kind of did come on and that's what I told her oh, too cool. I told her I'd love yeah. to help her expand Heck the yeah. brand because do it mm. it's in my amazing in my times in Vegas too I've done a little scouting so I've seen where oh, they do cool. some of the comedy shows at in the that arts district so and cool. the downtown we would area travel for that oh I'd yeah go. we travel for comedy shows yeah. all the time yeah, I did all yeah. the time yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so fun yeah we, we don't don't totally follow them in Boise no really. not enough we get and I mean some, I mean, we get a lot enough. of local but we don't get a lot of people from like, out yeah. of the, sometimes you know but I mean it's not, not the here. mid-range exactly we yeah like, like some of the ones we want to see more. like Mark Norman he's never been no. here well, yeah I missed the Dave Chappelle show in Vegas God. Oh, I could have been yeah. to that oh, one, but God. <sighs> ah, <sighs> the tickets were so you. expensive, though. Oh God, tickets oh. Was like over a hundred dollars. Yeah. I think though, it's, it's yeah. hard. It's hard for me to come. Like, all right, if I'm gonna drop a hundred bucks, and I can't bring my camera and take pictures of you. Yeah, like I'm, a, I'm gonna enjoy the That's stories painful. you tell and your, you know, your expertise in comedy and everything. But, bro, yeah. I wanted a hundred dollars. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, it's probably because I work for myself and yeah. exactly. I don't have that, that comfort of, like, I just go back to work, do a little overtime. Yeah, exactly. I'll make that back in two days. Yeah. No, that's Not like, yet. well, I got to get out and yeah. Hustle. I got to, you know, any money yeah. I spend and stuff, I got to start making back now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And even back then when I first funded myself to go to Texas, mm -hmm. I funded myself for a couple of trips, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, just because, I, like, the revenue I had coming in at the time, like, from work and, uh, like, side investments and stuff like that, little side hustles. Uh, even doing Uber and stuff, yeah. like you know, I was able to save up. Like I oh, really want to travel, cool. yeah. so yeah. So yeah, flying to Texas, working with those guys. Like I didn't have the expectations of getting paid, but I had the expectation of you know making a connection. Um, yeah. you know, Super showing these cool. guys what I can really do with this camera, and you know, and, hey, can I can I come back? Can I can I make you <laughs> right. go with your next exactly. show? Exactly. Uh, yes. And you know, trying to get over that hump because I'm I'm also kind of shyish and standoffish with some things, mm -hmm. but. We and Ronnie, these guys, they're just all straightforward. They're yeah. loud. They're in your face yeah. about it. And they're going to tell you they're how you feel. They're they comedians. Are. So, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah. And that, that opened up a whole huge door. Like, I never asked for, a, I didn't ask for a dime for that or for reimbursement. But one of the comedians, he had a show in Baltimore uh, like a couple of weeks later. So, you got my mom on free tickets. Oh, cool. They had a chance to meet him and stuff. Oh, that's and now, cool. and even today, like, they still ask about him and stuff when, wow. when they see me on the road with them. Um, yeah, shout out to D-Lay. Love mm -hmm. you, bro. Yeah. Now, and, jet lag media makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. it's weird <laughs> because, like, I, I knew I wanted to travel and yeah. I kept, you know, I was messaging different photographers that were on tour with, like, different talents and different musicians trying to ask, like, hey, how did you get started and stuff like that. But when I chose jet lag media L as an LLC, like, mm -hmm. honestly, my Instagram, my, so my original Instagram name was jet lag gemini oh, okay and jet lag gemini is actually a a, a punk band oh. they're, like a, they're like a punk alternate rock band i don't know it's mm -hmm. been a couple years since i've heard them but so that, that's actually like a band okay uh, we wondered where the gemini came well from. i'm a gemini though oh, okay mm -hmm. but I, so i am a gemini okay. and i think the band name was jet lag gemini or something like that or it was like a song title or something like that mm -hmm. And then I just, it kind of like stuck with me. And then I was like, well, if I'm a, if I'm going to travel and stuff, well, I guess maybe I'll just do jet lag media. Yeah, and this is even name. before I started traveling, but I was like, eh, I'm going to stick with it though. And you know, create like a little photography IG page with that title and mm. switch my show main. you how I can travel. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of <laughs> like, you know, spoke it into existence. It. Yep, yeah. Fake it till you make it exactly. too. Cause I've been in a couple of rooms where. You know, mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't normally be in there with these kind of people, but you just <laughs> acting like you belong. Right. Yeah. Hell, me and my friends, in Ve we went to Vegas and we snuck in a whole bottle of champagne and went through a VIP line through the middle. Nice. Instead of like standing outside. Like, we, we, we pretended belong. like we were with this big group that they were just like letting through. Like, nice. now we with them. Yeah. And just mm -hmm. hop through metal detectors nice. and everything. Wow. Nice. Like, we, were, we were looking at like a good like 30 minute wait. That line was long and wrapped and going back and forth yeah, and uh yeah. we <laughs> yeah come on let's go let's go let's go <laughs> cool right. so yeah but yeah jet lag media thing yeah it, i i spoke into existence with just you know 
making that my my brand name and i i don't know a couple of points i i didn't feel like it was gonna be able to happen but here it is october yeah. 2021 pretty mm-hmm. much the end of the year Very and cool. i've been doing this since january 2019 i haven't gone broke i haven't gone homeless i haven't Nice. You know, I haven't collapsed, you know. Uh, and now you're taking it to Vegas. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> cool. Taking it to Vegas to, for yeah. the next step. Like this past year, I went to Vegas about five or six times. I went to California okay. like four times. <laughs> so you're like, about three I'm times. in the wrong state. It's possible. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, California, is su- LA is super expensive. Yeah. But Vegas is more affordable. It's right. a three hour drive. And right. the flights are only like 30 minutes. And the flights are also super cheap. Yeah. So. Okay. If I don't want to drive, I just hop exactly. a cheap flight, get a rental car. And oh, yeah. I, I tested that out too, because I since I have people that live in Vegas now, I, you know, drove down there in July, spent, you know, about a weekend down there for Fourth of July, hopped on a flight to LA, went oh, out to cool. work for like four or five days. Oh, then awesome. hopped on a flight back to Vegas <laughs> and then flew back to Boise because I had to get my paycheck from the dispensary. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then Cause that me- did work. <laughs> yeah. And then uh did you now I stayed in Boise for two days, hopped on another flight oh, from Boise back so to Vegas cool. because my car was in Vegas. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then came back to Vegas for another like, you know, weekend or oh, a couple a couple few days life. and then drove back. Yeah. Yeah. What are your dogs doing, man? <laughs> yeah, well, Who's caring for the dogs? Actually, I took my dog. dog I, so I took One Lady dog. with me that oh, time. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, On so the she plane? Had some, no, we drove. Oh, okay. When I drove okay. that time, cool. so in July. Lady. Um, mm-hmm, that's my baby girl. Nice. Yeah, if you know me, you know Lady. Because so, <laughs> she's always in like my my Instagram stories like almost every morning. Do you have like a pet sitter? Or what yeah, do you my, do? Uh, my neighbor. Okay, uh, cool. Shout out to my neighbor. She was always looking out for me. She was nice. also the one that started making like the, the Rice Krispie tree that oh, we talked nice. about. <laughs> nice. Yeah, she was making Good those neighbor. and stuff. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> neighbor. Like, she smoked me out. Oh, you know, uh, at, at one point after work every day, one of my other coworkers would come over with me, and we'd go to her house for church. <laughs> Is it church? Church. Okay, yeah. nice. Air That's Force. our kind of church. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. We, we called it church because yeah. you know, we'd have like a, a, yeah. a session and of course. You know, sit around on her couch and smoke weed and shit. And yeah, it was, so yeah, she, you know, I told her like. I want to start traveling more and buy me a dog sitter. And she was like, I'll watch your dog for free. I love you. I love your dog. Your dog's awesome. I'll do anything for your dog. And she has dogs too. So, and lady gets along with her dogs. Um, yeah, but Ish. sometimes, but <laughs> yeah. she just normally stays at my house. Oh, and okay, I had yeah. also had a friend that was, um, that I met. So I have a friend that was from DC, actually the DC area. He's but actually from Tacoma, up. Merlin, Merlin. I met him out here at CUNA and CUNA at Cowgirls. Oh, weird. At the bar. Oh, he was wow. the DJ for uh wild one Oh wow. Yeah. Shout out to VJ. Um, but, and his amazing girlfriend, <laughs> VJ, Amber, the DJ mm-hmm. and his oh, amazing yeah, girlfriend, Amber. Um, you. she, she was like the dog sitter cause she loved my dog as well. So I would oh, either nice. just take her over to their house or she'd come, you know, come oh, get her wow. from my house. And so all this shit so had, had to happen. System. So like you could grow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, crazy. The, the challenge of like when, when you and your, yeah, when you have a significant other mm-hmm. and you guys live together and you have two dogs, Yeah. <laughs> but one of you have to travel and stuff. It just makes <laughs> it so much yeah. easier. And then yeah. when one of them separate, when you, you know, you guys kind of separate and live exactly. apart. Exactly. It's, and it's a lot. Like, uh, well, how do I, it's, like, it's like you know being a single parent. Yeah, <laughs> and, it is. But in your a state where expected. you don't have grandparents, you exactly. don't have a mom, your yeah. aunt's not here, cousin's your not around. Your dog is used to a certain way of living. Yeah, and yeah. you need to continue it. So yeah, and, that's awesome. And everyone that I bring around, you know, they see how mild she is, how calm she is, yeah. how yeah. lovely she is. So, oh, nice. so yeah, all the people that helped me out. There's a few other people here and there that were um, like dog sitting for me along the way too. <laughs> so yeah, it takes a village. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks to raise nice. a child. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to all y'all. Like Danielle, yeah, she was uh, watching my dog for a while too. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lady. So, yeah, shout out to lady and yeah, shout out to Kalua. I'll Kalua. see you. I'll see you soon, oh, she's girl. She's a Vegas pup. Mm-hmm. Yes. But so. But, right. yeah, but but for Vegas though, I mean, we hope it works. <laughs> however, you want that to work, we hope it works. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a career move. Like I said, trying to be closer to to, to work. I, I mean, it's, like it's hard for me to smart. leave here though because I've had also a lot of good Some gigs awesome, here. Yeah, I have you know the amazing job at at Hotbox you know, yeah. working with them, and I'm I'm in talks right now with uh you know the owners and 
Oh, Hopefully cool. we can work something out where I can come back monthly and oh, that'd be cool. You know, come back yeah. like Promote. four days, five days a month just to keep doing the social media management yeah. and photography mm-hmm. for them and keeping the IG running. But yeah, but also I understand as well if you know if it's not in the budget, if it's not something too yeah. feasible, or and to keep having book flights and mm-hmm. you know car rentals for this guy and having to pay him on but top. But if it's and, working. Yeah, but if it, if it works out for yeah. them and, you know, they, they're they getting a good return on investment, yeah. then, yeah, yeah I'm all for it. Because, I mean, it. a lot of people don't know how to run that stuff. Surprisingly. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But yeah. anyone can, though, as well. Exactly. So That's anyone the listening, crazy so Anyone part. listening to this, like, you can be a social media manager. You if you post, be. If you post to your own Instagram every day, yeah. <laughs> you can do that for another yeah. brand just posting yeah. their products or their services. Yeah. And if you exactly. want to start doing that. I started just, by just telling them, hey, I'm a photographer. I like taking pictures mm-hmm. of stuff. Yeah. You see what I like taking pictures of. Um, and you see how hey, my quality of work. So, you know, let's get, uh, let's start creating a new audience other than just having a storefront. Exactly. You know, you have like your virtual audience as well that's following and some the, the products. Are and some not even on Instagram. Surprise. Yeah. Or, they, or they just have crazy. a page and they just have like a few, they, they few never, things like, here and change there. It. And you're like, like they never dude, keep, they never post yeah. anything Nothing. at all. No, and you're like, this sucks. And you yeah. want to talk, you want to figure out how to like get like why aren't people coming in or exactly. how come Duh. no one knew about this or knew about that? Put, you didn't put shit. Out. Yeah, Nothing we've started ever. approaching businesses. Yeah, like we that, have that because have we're no like, you are not social media. What are you doing? Yeah, to yeah. Kind of be like, their social media managers. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, anyone can start a you yeah. know, start a business off this because. But yours has been super successful, and that is awesome. Yeah, hey, shout yeah. out to Hotbox. You know, uh, what, what? Steven, he, uh, you know, he saw something in me a long time ago because he first saw me at Wiz Khalifa concert <laughs> oh, <laughs> that cool. they had at Nampa like in 2019. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> you know, and I mean, we were kind of friends on Facebook then because he was the owner of the Huntington store too. Mm. And of course, I was going there. I was asking questions, trying to, you know, get my foot in the door back then too, but. I don't know. I guess it, it it made sense that he wouldn't hit me up because I ain't about to drive an hour and eleven minutes, <laughs> five days yeah. a week. Yeah. Come stand there yeah. for ten hours a day to sell some reefers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he wait, got wait, your vibe. There's not even there's not even a McDonald's out there. No, no. <laughs> like what? Like what am I gonna do for lunch? I would have I would have lost so much weight out there in Huntington. <laughs> But no, nah, I'm just talking shit. No, nah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, you have to, yeah, you, and you have to be kind of dedicated to that too. I mean, the people that started over when I started in Ontario, a lot mm. of them, you know, helped open up the Huntington location, yeah. and they were there for the, yeah. the the big rushes where people were driving an hour, waiting in line for 45 minutes yeah. around the corner of the store. And then you get inside, and you still got to wait another 20 minutes to talk to someone. Yeah. And then you, you talk to someone for, like, five minutes. Yeah. You get your little pre-roll and, like, an edible. Like, <laughs> and then, and yeah, like, I'm getting so lit. I'm getting so wasted, <laughs> this guys. <is> amazing. <laughs> and then you stay in line for another 10 minutes just to cash out. Yeah, just to drive exactly. home for an hour. Yeah. So you spent three hours buying a, your life. two joints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Have fun, guys. Don't yeah. go to Huntington just for two joints. <laughs> Don't has go to the, Ontario just for two joints. Has the business in Huntington died out since Ontario yeah, became those, a thing? <laughs> According to my other coworkers that work out there, if they get twenty people in a day, they're busy. Oh wow! If they get forty wow, people in a day, they're busy. Because uh, before the it was like over, lines out lines out the door. It was over a thousand at one point, yeah, like wow. a thousand wow. customers per day. Like, now it's e- dead. Yeah, and even at in Ontario at Hotbox there, when we first opened, was after Snoop Dogg came through and blessed us. <laughs> We were having on the weekends. Oh my god! It was like twelve hundred oh customers in a god. day, thirteen hundred customers in a day. Now, what? like they were making bank. bank. Like we we would see the like the the the, the managers have to come out like every like. 15 minutes to change out to come dump the register oh my and god too much to come money. dump the tills yeah to keep come money. swapping the tills and you can see them go in the back room and you hear like, the money oh, machine going shit. and shit and wow. you know at the end of the day yeah. they do the count and stuff and you know some of the numbers they will tell us like you know i think they i think they touched over a hundred thousand a couple oh times in god. sales in just a, a 16 hour period wow 
Like imagine you made a hundred thousand dollars in a day. No fucking yeah, way. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But it takes a village. Yeah. Right? yeah. Just like you <laughs> know, watching a dog. You know, it's just like <laughs> you know, running dispensary. It definitely takes a, a big team to to make all that happen. I mean, wow. everyone sees the money coming in, but you also got you know think the the, 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 the worker ants that yeah. are you know making you know making the, mm. the, the show run and yeah. all the people in the back that you don't see like the inventory specialist the intake specialist yeah. the admin specialist the um shoot, there's so many people that you know i'm, I'm good yeah, friends so like the, the people in the packaging department in the back the you know i mean but, is it all based on an hourly wage or do you ever get like bonus um, I mean, every position is kind of different depending oh. on what you do. If you're doing sales, you know, it might be different sometimes than working like as a push bartender. A thing? Is so, there ever push an item? Um, or? sometimes, like, yeah, we do yeah. that every now and then. Yeah. Um, they even accept competitions during the day of who oh. can sell the most weed, oh. uh, who can sell the most edibles, who can sell you most of this stuff. Something. Um, yeah. yeah, sometimes you get like a you know a free eighth. Bucks. Oh, nice! Wow. <laughs> you know, well, it's not free. Of course, they you know but. go through the the process to you know give yeah. it to you. But yeah, yeah. You know, they hook you up with some bud and stuff, or they oh, you know okay. give some extra credit for you know so you can buy whatever you want. Or have you ever worked with somebody that did not smoke as a bun t- bud tender? That'd be funny, right? I can neither confirm nor deny that. Really? Yeah, that'd be <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah, okay. yeah, wanna... So you think you like yeah. experienced it maybe? We don't that Possibly. Would be, that'd be weird, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know. Remember what we said earlier? Fake it till you make it? Ex- oh, okay. Okay. Wow. But, I mean, it's also like, you know, I mean, Biggie even had the Ten Crack Commandments, you know. Ten crack. I didn't know these. The ten crack, ten crack command. Uh, there was a song, but he pretty much. I mean, you never get one of the crack commands. Never get high on your own supply. You're right. You know, and then how are you going to be the best salesman if you've never done it? Well, you got to be a bomb ass salesman. Okay, there you go. And wow. there, there's so much educational material out there oh, when it comes there? to cannabis. So somebody could learn it. Never yeah. smoked. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like the people that regulate the, like the people that make the, the yeah, regulations probably, for the state of Oregon. Probably, yeah. Fuck no, no those squares ain't never, no. never t- took the joint in their day yeah. in their life. Yeah. That'd be weird. Yeah, so I yeah, imagine like, that. Like mm-hmm. the whole system's ran by yeah, people those who, people. yeah, never eaten, eaten an edible. Yeah. But yeah. they tell you how much weed you can buy a day. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you can go yeah. to the liquor store and go get a whole exactly. barrel of Jack Daniels if you as want. As much as you want. Get There's no limit, jug. right? Yeah. You can take yeah, a jug but, in these days for some room. You could take a whole carload. Yeah. There's no limit on it. No. Not uh, liquor anywhere. Yeah. You guys remember Dogface? Yeah. Dogface. Yeah, that's my yeah. uncle. That's your uncle. Oh, that's really. my Tio. Oh, okay, gotcha. I've, I've seen his. Shout he's got his face. No, he's got his own line now, right? Yeah, his canvas line is coming. Um, okay. We actually even did like a a, a licensing deal with him mm. at Hotbox, yeah, yeah. and we uh, created our own cool. dog face line with him as well. Yeah. So yeah, we and I think they still got a couple more, a couple of strains, not a couple of strains, but a couple of grams left. <laughs> But yeah, like three different strains. They're all really good. Yeah, that's my Tio. That's cool. Oh, well, I just call him my Tio. He's not really my uncle, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, I, wish you I mean, he, like he'd be liking my stuff on, on Instagram and stuff. Like it's yeah. so cool. Like if, you know, if I post something, I'm not gonna be thinking that you no, know, this you know somewhat famous person's gonna yeah. see it. But yeah. you know, he, he drops a like yeah. and pops a notification. I'm like, what the fuck? This, so that's of yeah. all the things he got going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But some of these famous people also have social media managers too. Thanks, so Megan. you know, don't don't yeah. always think it's them. But no, nah, some yeah. of them are being genuine. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't no, some of them being like, genuine. Over. Like there's a uh, like all the com- like the comedian guys I work for that I mentioned earlier from the Digi Missing podcast. Like yeah. they be yeah. showing me love and stuff and Oh nice. Um, Still, so yeah, it's you know, it's been an adventure though. It's been a dream. Like, I, I fell in love with snowboarding out here. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm a yeah I saw your, yeah, yeah, I saw the bumper stickers and the window stickers yeah, yeah. and stuff. Did you see my poster in the living room when you walked in? I'll have to show it to you. Was it like <laughs> this? It is <laughs> now, and not this big, but it's a good, it's poster size. Okay, okay. it's best <laughs> say frame, Grand yeah. Targhee. Have you been there, Grand Targhee? Oh, I've only really been to like Bogus out around oh, here. You oh, try. Okay, if you would like powder, Grand Targhee. Amazing, yeah. mm-hmm. like five hundred inches a year, right? Yeah, uh huh. Damn. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. want to drown. No, <laughs> yeah, it's right. really good. You go down the bunny hill, 
like Bunny Hill, even and you're like, oh, even shit. Even their, this like, beginner area is awesome. fun. Yeah. It's super awesome. Yeah, like, if the top shit, is yeah. fogged up, go down whatever we do, like and it's, like, green, yeah. but it's, it's like, tear waste in powder. Take a shot if you love yourself. Oh, yeah. Shout to Justin LeBoy. <laughs> All right, we should get out of here. We've been on for a while. All right. Oh, we're leaving Where already? We I guess so. I'm just getting started. <laughs> we can still hang out. <laughs> what time is it even? Does anyone know? Right, let me look. Uh, 8.54. Okay, let's end oh, wow. this and then we'll just chill and we'll do whatever we okay, want. Okay, pee. Me too. All right. I'm in there. All oh, right. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, so, going that late. <laughs> so DJ uh, from Jetlag Media, you're going to be uh, photographing our 100th episode party uh, on November 12th. We're excited. Uh, we're fucking we're excited scared. about that. Yeah. We're also scared Nervous about and the also whole thing scared. Well, we the thing it. about photos is, you know, people kind of make their own judgment and conclusion yeah. to them. So exactly. one thing I do a lot on Instagram and Facebook too sometimes, and I do it by accident, is I'll post an old picture from like Vegas or Cali. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, he's like, tired of my I'm shit. Down. He's down over me. Him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, another Vegas story. <laughs> like, That's so, no, sometimes I'll post a picture from Vegas or Cali or something or from DC, and people really think I'm there. Yeah, exactly. Even I'm like, you know, and then they'll yeah. seem like 30 That's minutes how it later. Seems. It does and look they're like, like yeah, I thought you were just over you? here. And then actually your brain goes, oh shit, he's in Vegas and Boise on the same day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's a crazy. private jet. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's, it's crazy shit. where your brain yeah. can go. So yeah. But yeah, with the picture thing though, it's like, I mean, if, if it goes bad, if it's, let's say if it's a bad event, yeah. you know I mean, bad events are photographed yeah. and it just looks. Yeah. more yeah. than what it was yeah 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 right. so i got you guys don't good. worry if it's good it's good we're, if it's bad they won't know we're good if you make it look more than it was <laughs> yeah, yeah right? exactly. i got yeah. you say less <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all my friends from dc yes. back home shout out to all the coll- all the alumni the friendship collegiate shout out exactly. to all my air force veteran buddies yes. shout out to mm. everyone from the lounge shout out from bad sweet all the boys are comedics like i just i love all you guys i couldn't nice. i couldn't do all this shit without you d late kevin simpson damn Woo. fool billy sorrells thank love you, all you guys you, thank, thank you, you very you. much thank hey, you guys for sweet. listening thank you thank and this you. lighting is yeah, we're good. All right, I'm signing out. I'm signing off. I'm Chris so I'm Wendy Moser. Hashtag get toasted. Stay toasted. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. DJ Jetlag Media. Follow him on Instagram. I know him as Jetlag, so. <laughs> <laughs>